Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor. Recently, uh, OpenAI has launched two models, GPT OSS 20B and GPT OSS 120B. So we are going to understand what exactly it is, how what's the architecture, and how we can fine tune these models. So we are not going to train uh, and fine tune 120B. We are going to take 20B. Okay. So let's first understand what is the architecture behind this new models okay so first let's let's understand so what is oss okay so gpt oss 20b is an open weight transformer model transformer based language model released by openai in august 2025 so under the uh, permissive apache 2.0 license so what it makes it, it's freely available for research, customization, and deployment. Okay. And it's notable for being compact enough to run on consumer grade hardware with just 16 GB of GPU memory. Isn't that exciting? So, here are some of the core architectural insights. So, mixture of uh, experts. So, this MOE layer you see over here, right? So, this MOE layer. Uh, uses mixture of expert design to improve efficiency and it includes 32 experts per MOE layer okay and but but remember only four experts are activated per token which reduces active parameters and computational cost this results 21 billion total parameters with only 3.6 billion active per token transformer configuration so the model employs 24 transformer layers, each with two 880 hidden hidden units with 64 attention heads, group group query attention, eight key value heads per group. It alternates between full context attention and locally banded sliding window attention. Okay, and uh, position encoding and uh, long context. Okay. So GPT OSS 20B uses rotation, rotary positional embeddings. Okay. So enhanced via YAN scaling technique, allowing a maximum context length of 128K tokens. Okay. That sounds very technical, right? The numbers are very hard to remember, but uh, uh, I, I am trying to simplify uh, as much as I can. Okay, so it supports efficient quantization, tokenizer and reasoning features. Okay, so to summarize, the total parameters are 21 million active per token is 3.6 million. And there are 24 transformer blocks. Experts per MOE layer are 32, which is four active per token. Okay, and uh, it fits on 16 GB GPU or consumer hardware. So let's let's now work on training this model and and see how it goes. Hello. So uh, for our demo, we are going to use uh, NVIDIA A100 GPU. Okay, and I've configured my uh, my kernel to be with one core CPU and two gigabytes of RAM. So I'll save the configuration. The kernel is going to start. It's initializing. Let's wait for a while and I will walk you through the code now. So uh, first, number one, we are going to install Unsloth library, a framework that is optimized for fine tuning large language models efficiently, especially with LoRa with four bit quantization. Okay, so I'll run this command and I'll wait for a few minutes, it's going to take a little bit of time until it downloads and install few stuff. Okay. So meanwhile, until it uh, downloads and configure, configures this, installs this, so I will just I'll explain you what is Unsloth. So Unsloth is a Python library which is designed to significantly accelerate the fine tuning process of large language models. It achieves this by, you know, optimizing computational steps and memory usage, which leads to 
faster training times and reduced hardware requirements. Okay, so Unslot is also uh, offering features like 4-bit quantization for reduced memory usage, I just told you before. So that's the reason we are using it, okay. It is still uh, installing some stuff, uninstalling and installing. All right, so it is installed. Uh, I'll run this next command. Okay, so it is now. Now down like uh, configuring it. Okay, so I'll explain you what exactly it means. So basically, uh, it will load the GPT OSS 20B model. Okay. Uh, the max sequence size we have configured is 2048, which is the input token length you see over here. Okay. And uh, load in 4-bit, which uses the 4-bit quantization to reduce the VRAM usage. Okay. And the full fine tuning is equal to false. So it avoids, you know, full weight updates uh, setting for the parameter efficient uh, tuning later. Okay. All right, so it looks like this process is completed now. We have uh, loaded the GPT OS S20B model. Okay. Now, Moving to the next step, we are going to apply LoRa fine tuning configuration. Okay, so LoRa is low rank adapt adaptation is applied to specific attention projection layers like QProj. These are the projection layers. Okay, so QProj, KProj, VProj, OProj. We are using gradient checkpointing and slot. Uh, which will save GPU memory during training. Okay. And R is equal to 16, LoRa alpha is equal to 4, which is used for LoRa ranking and scaling. Okay. So this is the optimal configuration we have set. LoRa dropout is equal to 0, so it means that we don't want any dropout. Bias is equal to none, so no bias parameters are trained. That's what it means. Okay. So we are going to run this now. Okay, so next is the time to load the data set over here. So we are loading Hugging Face H4 multilingual thinking data set, okay, uh, which contains multilingual reasoning conversations. And uh, we are using, uh, we are configuring split is equal to train. So we just want the training data set. That's what it means. Okay. So we got the data set now. Now it's time to pre-process -pre data for chat model. Okay, so this is the pre-processing logic. I'm just gonna run it now. Okay. Next is inspect and train model. Okay, so here we are uh, kind of Printing an example data entry for inspection. This one, okay. Uh, we are using SFT Trainer from Hugging Face TRL library uh, for supervised fine tuning. Okay, so this one we are using it for supervised fine tuning. We are using uh, small max steps is equal to 60 for quick training. Okay, this for quick training and Adam W 8 bit. It's the optimizer that we are uh, using it to reduce memory usage. I'm just highlighting few important parameters over here. So please uh, focus. Uh, mix precision, FP16 and BF16 for faster training. Okay. So I'll just quickly run this. So it has printed the data set. All right, it's showing some error. Okay, int object has no attribute starts with. Okay, I know this error. 
one second. All right, I think I got to move this function on the top. Okay, over here. And now I'll run the program. This for uh, pre-processing data. Okay, so as you can see now, it has started tokenizing It's going to take a little bit of time, but so here what we are uh, going to do is we are training it with French data. Okay. We are going to ask it some mathematical question and ask it to reply in French language. All right. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'll just pause this video for some time. Okay, so the training process is still going on. It's at 33rd step. We still have to wait for more 30 steps. Okay, so the training is just about to complete. Okay, so the training is completed. This is some of the uh, output from the training. Okay, now let's test this model. So uh, what I'm, uh, I'm giving it as a prompt is a reasoning language French. You are helpful assistant that can solve mathematics and I'm giving the user content to solve this mathematical problem okay and I'm gonna run it so I'm, I'm just kind of defining the system plus user conversation in French reasoning mode I'm formatting it using the tokenizer chat template so this is the tokenizer chat template that I'm using over here and uh, kind of uh, it, it's gonna generate output from the train model which streamed printing Okay, so we are using uh, stream printing over here. Okay, so let's run it. Let's see. Okay, so this is the prompt. You can see. So. So you can see they say the reasoning language is French, so I should do the reasoning in French and the final answer in English. Okay, so what we are going to do is let's run this first. We are going to compare the output with the original model that is not trained. Okay, so that you can side by side compare exactly what's the difference. All right, so as you can see, the response is coming up in French. Okay. So it is implying the reasoning with the French language. Since in our prompt, we are specifically mentioned reasoning language French. All right, so as you can see, it has uh, 
return this detailed output over here. We won't go into deep mathematics, but uh, let's now compare it with the output that I had previously captured. Uh, I'll just show you side by side. All right, so here you can see, right? <clears throat> it is uh, not providing the proper reasoning for it. It is simply providing the output. Okay, so this is uh, the output from uh, not a proper trained model. Okay, the one which we have trained is multilingual, and here with reasoning probably, but this is not what it does. Okay. So it is not doing proper reasoning over here. Okay, so that that's how it works, guys. So do like and subscribe my channel and uh, let me know in comments if you want this code, then I can send it to you across. Do like and subscribe, guys. Thank you.